Hello, thanks for joining me. This is Kim Quady with KimPlaysWithPaper.com. Usually you see me Tuesday mornings at 8.30 with a fun card project or technique. But for the next five or six Fridays, I'm going to be here beginning at eight o'clock every Friday morning to bring you a new installment of there's a kit for that. Did you know that Stampin' Up! has a ton of, well, a ton, a good variety of kits to help make your holiday planning and gift giving easier? Good morning, Ruth. Thanks for joining me. Um, today I'm talking about some of the, uh, I'm going to feature one of the kits that Stampin' Up! offers, and each Friday for the next Friday I will feature a different kit. So today's kit is the Christmas Countdown Kit, and it is found on page six of Stampin' Up's Holiday Catalog. Good morning, Gina, how are you this morning? Um, so let me point my camera down and I'll show you the project and what it entails and how you can get yours. So just give me a sec. You can see my ceiling fan going around there. Oh, I turned it up. There we go. All right, so the first kit I am going to feature on this Friday is the Christmas Countdown. It is available on page six of Stampin' Up's August through December mini catalog. Now, this is a returning favorite. It was also featured in last year's um, um, holiday catalog, and it sold out. It was so popular, so Stampin' Up! brought back some of the most um, popular items, and this kit is one of them. So when it comes just, when you open the package, uh, it comes um, just all put together like this. The size is just a little bit, a little bit over 11 by 11. Um, and the boxes are all pre-made. And there's, so there's nothing you have to put together. It all just comes just like that. And then there will be a package of embellishments sealed in some protective wrap so that you'll be able to just open the package and basically get started with your crafting. So this is a fun advent kit. You know, can you imagine the little kiddos or even adults checking the box each morning to see what's inside? Good morning, Linda. Thanks for joining me for this special edition of There's a Kit for That. This morning we're featuring the Christmas Countdown Kit. It's $30 uh, from Stampin' Up! And I think it will make a really fun addition to um, adding to the excitement for the holidays. So it does come with uh, printed directions. And it also comes with a, a bunch of punch outs and stickers. Good morning, Brittany, thanks for joining me. And you can decorate your boxes any way you like, even though um, there are some recommended designs here in the catalog, you can add any of the elements you have at home, any stamps, any embellishments. I'll show you one that I've added on mine. And then after the holidays, you'll be able to use this again next year, but if you want to repurpose it and use it for either your craft room or maybe um, your kiddos have some fun things they want to store, you can um, decorate them with any uh, patterned or designer series paper that you have at home. You would just copy the pattern and cut that out. So as you can see, I've got boxes one and two and five going. So I'm just gonna grab out the next box. They would hold quite a few goodies. I'll move that out of the way. You will need some adhesive for this project. So I would recommend some Stampin' Seal Plus, possibly some glue dots and some Stampin' Dimensionals. So just judging by the directions for this box I am going to need good morning Sue. I'm going to need that piece of designer series paper so I will um, use my stamp and seal or you could use your uh, this is stamp and seal plus I like that so this kit just shows you how quick and easy it is to put this together so I'll um, slip that on the front and then the decoration of uh, the um, the embellishments so there's some sheets these are sticker sheets that come with 
these are the um, other backgrounds. You just punch them out to use them and then put them on your box. So they just punch out really easily. The stickers peel off. So there's one sheet of stickers, um, an additional sheet of stickers, some extra bases, and some more of the bases and your numbers for the days. And there are some stars in case that you start yours at a different time or need extra spaces. There are some extra of these bases, so if you wanna mix and match, you can do that as well. Good morning, Debbie. Thanks for joining me. So number three, the three box shows I need um, this sticker and a couple of flowers. So easy peasy, I'm just going to peel the sticker off and place it right there on my box. So can you imagine your kiddos having fun putting the box together and then you can surprise them with all the goodies that are inside? So then I need to find, let's see, so I'm gonna get out my number three for that and then it shows also, good morning Lisa, it shows some flowers. So I will grab the flower, uh, this little flower sticker. So I'm gonna, this is a sticker so it just goes on easy peasy just like that. So this is something that your, your kiddos could do. And good morning Debbie. There's another little flower, it's a white one. And if you had some Stampin' Blends, I bet you could color those any color you wanted too. So then I'm going to just use a Stampin' Dimensional and place a Stampin' Dimensional on the back of the number and slip it, put it onto my box. And it fits right in here. So, once you get the box, you can use your creativity and your imagination to do whatever you like with it. Let me show you, like on box number two, I did add some of Stampin' Up! Champagne um, basic jewels. And you know to brighten up this box, we do have some of the holiday rhinestones. So what if we put just a couple on there to brighten that box up as well? So you can use just what the kit has, or you can add some of your own touches as well. Remember, you will need some ad extra adhesive for this if you don't have any on hand. So let's do one more box. Box, this is the catalog, the box number four shows, um, Actually, I really want to use the wreath, so I'm going to do box number 25. There's box number 25, and we'll use this front. So I'm just, we'll put some Stampin' Seal Plus on it. So this is available for $30 in the catalog. All right. See, just so easy, fun. And I'm, here's one of the wreaths I'm going to. Hi, Chris. Thanks for popping in today. I'm going to pull the wreath off. It just pulls off so clean and simply and attach it to the front of my box and put my number 25 in the middle with some of my Stampin' Dimensionals. Um, so this box lends itself well to um, both kids or um, adults being able to decorate it any way you want. That's being stubborn, so all right. So I'll add the 25 just right in there. And um, actually that did show some of the little banners too. So I will peel the banner off and just pop it in under here. I think the bows are super cute too, so I'll... Hi, Judy, good morning, thanks for joining me. So I'll wanna use one of those bows. 
and they just pop pop right in and I have a few more boxes to decorate but I will decorate those today and be able to show that at a craft fair that I'm having an outdoor craft not uh, that I'm participating in tomorrow in Mesa an outdoor craft fair one other thing I wanted to show you so when when the holidays are over um, you can take the other side of the box and you can use any of your designer series paper to decorate it any way you want so what I did was I just took one of these uh, one of these bases and I um, selected my designer series paper. I love this designer series paper from the Boho Indigo set. And on the back, I just made an outline of it. Um, I couldn't find a pencil this morning, so the pen will do. But you won't see the pen side because um, you'll be cutting that out. So you would trace around it and you could, then you cut it out. And then you will have it for um, for the other side of your box. So that is the Christmas countdown kit by Stampin' Up! brought back from last year because it was such a popular and fun item. Easy peasy to put together and oh so fun for kids to either decorate or when uh, December 1st rolls around, if that's something you do in your house, uh, it will be fun to see the joy and what's all in the little boxes. But if you don't have grandkids or kids or nieces or nephews, use it for yourself in your craft room or for your sewing room or just to store fun little items. So that can be found on page six of Stampin' Up's August through December mini catalog on page six for $30. I will also have a link um, in the comments of a shopping link if you want to check that out um, on my shopping site. I will also have this video up on kimplayswithpaper.com if you want to take a peek at it or just rewatch it. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'll be back on Tuesday for um, a fun greeting card project and then again next Friday morning at 8 for another kit. Thanks for popping in. Have a great weekend.